What's going on? It's Eric Allen, owner of Top Rated MMA. For episode 40, I got to talk to Blake Crosley, who's the owner of Stolen Images Photography and Video. Literally one of the best photographers in the nation. Shoots a lot of MMA in this area and going across the states here in just a couple weeks. Check it out. It's a great show. Thank you so much for, for taking time out of your day to, to jump on the show, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, I was reading your profile on your website, dude, and uh, you said you started shooting photography at 13 years old. What, like, drove you to start shooting? Um, well, I lived in, in Maui, Hawaii. Yeah. Which you read, and, uh, you know, the, the scenery kind of made it pretty easy to get into photography, and uh, I just, I love the process of taking an image and it was still filmed back then when I was shooting, right? Uh, or when I started shooting, and uh, being able to wait for that to upload and print, you know, that excitement to see, you know, if you got that one good image, that kind of stuck with me. And then I always just did it as a hobby and didn't do it professionally until a couple of years ago. Okay, awesome. And dude, you got this huge gig coming up with Barstool Sports and Rough and Rowdy Brawl, dude. How'd this come about, man? What's 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 going on? Yeah, I'm I'm jacked. I um. Uh, one of my family friends, her, uh, she sent me a message saying that she's surprised my photography and sports hasn't gotten picked up by someone. She was like, you should reach out to the guys at Barstool. Okay. And, uh, and I was like, oh yeah, I follow Barstool and I did that. And she was like, they have a huge fight coming up, um, in April, reach out, show them your stuff. And I was like, yeah, it's kind of like shooting fish in a barrel. You know, I didn't think I was going to get this gig. So I, I yeah. had a little bit of confidence swag behind it. Like they carried themselves kind of saying that I'm. I'm a step up, and uh, and they they said that my work was great. They'd love to have me out there. Granted me a media pass, and uh, uh, I'll be sharing all my images with with Barstool. So, come on, man, that's awesome. That is yeah, awesome. jacked. And that's April thirteenth, right? Yeah, yeah. I leave the twelfth. Um, yeah. Fly to, fly to Charlotte, shoot the fights on the thirteenth. Okay. Uh, the fights go till the fourteenth, but the main event type deal is is kind of on the thirteenth, actually. Oh, gotcha. Okay, okay. Uh, awesome. It's a huge door obviously being opened. Um, what did you, I mean, when did you start shooting MMA events? Cause I, I've known you for the last couple of years. You've been shooting MMA events. That's kind of where I met you through and your brother Nolan. Um, but yep. how long have you been shooting MMA? Uh, I think it was kind of right before I, I met you. So I, okay. uh, I knew I wanted to branch into, into shooting the fights. Yeah. Uh, I actually reached out to Killian Estes and he was fighting in December at the Proving Grounds event. And, um, I just hit him up on a whim, said, Hey man, uh, think I could follow you around and shoot you for the fights. And he reached out to, uh, Joel, yeah. uh, proving grounds and said, Hey, I got a photographer that wants to come along. They had a couple of guys that were shooting there as well. And I mean, I fell in love with it immediately. I mean, sports is my, is my passion. Photography is my passion. So when I get to do the two together, um, you know, it's, it's something that's just, it's, it's kind of like my Zen for keeping sane and all the photography that I do. Right. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and you also started another company, uh, Rage Spokane. Yeah. Dude, which is awesome. How's yeah, it going? It's good, man. It's, um, it's you know, the, the only destruction room here in, in Spokane. And, uh, you know, guests get to pay to come in and just take out that, you know, midweek frustration or boss giving them a, you know, ungodly deadline or something. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> Cash out. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. I've seen the videos. I got to get down there, but it, it looks awesome. I can't wait to get down there. It's rad. Uh, one last thing I want to say is, I'm sure you saw the news, uh, but Conor McGregor yeah. packed a bus today. Uh, what are your thoughts? Do you think he should get banned from the UFC or cut from the UFC? Nuts. Yeah. I uh, I don't know. I, I've heard a few different things, and it, it was interesting, actually. I think it was you who posted Someone posted this where uh, Nate Diaz was kind of backing it. Yeah, dude. Conor did that. <laughs> He means I don't know. I, I was kind of thinking maybe a little bit of stage behind it, a little bit yeah. of hype. I don't know. Um, I mean, I'm a fan of Connor though. I'm a fan of that that cockiness and sure. and that confidence. You know, I'm I'm definitely a fan of, it, but I'm not a fan of you know, especially hurting someone who's from Spokane. You know, I, you know, Mike Mike hurts all all messed up. So yeah, I actually uh, I saw a message from one of the media guys that I that I work with uh, that he just had some minor cuts. He's gonna fight. Oh. 
back to oh. his weight cutting. So, uh, hopefully that's the truth, but, uh, we'll, we'll find out soon. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm not, a, I'm not a huge fan of, of Connor, but I did see that Nate Diaz, he posted just hashtag free Connor, which, <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh, a few things. And I thought it was kind of, uh, interesting because those guys, yeah, they're definitely not fans of each other. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Hey man, do you care if we do some quick rapid fire on you here? Fire away. You are a cigar guy. So what's your favorite cigar? Oh gosh. Favorite cigar. Gosh, that's real hard. Uh, <laughs> La Gloria Siri. Uh, no. Partigas Siri P number five. Okay. All right. Um, what's the furthest location that you've been paid to go shoot photography? Uh, paid. Well, I think you were like, did you go to LA or something last early? Yeah. Yeah. I've gone to LA twice. I've gone to Vegas. I've gone to uh, Catalina Island, probably. Oh wow! Okay. Which is outside of LA, but we had to take a ferry, so I guess that would be no. I went to Colorado. I don't know. I've, I've gone a few places. <laughs> I mean, that's awesome that you're you're getting flown all over the place, man. I mean, yeah. North Carolina. So I mean, that's... Yeah. oh no, Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Oh, first. oh nice. Okay. Yeah. So nice. Um, do you like shooting MMA or weddings better? beautiful mma <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> for sure i figured you're gonna go that route but you yeah. i mean you're you take awesome pictures of photography you your photos all that stuff so uh, um and do you have any type of music that just like hypes you up like favorite band or favorite type of music dude to be to be dead honest um i'm a total weirdo um i think so much that actually listening to music kind of throws me off of my thinking oh gotcha i'm like the only person who i drive with no music my studio has no music um but i'm i'm totally if i'm listening to music i'm listening to like third day radio or uh you know some local country or something but i'm not i'm, I'm crazy i don't know why i'm not a huge music guy yeah 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 it i'm totally opposite if it's dead silent i'm like going nuts i'm like i gotta go oh. to the music you know <laughs> yeah people who work side by side with me think i'm crazy and i just i i'm thinking about a million things and kind of my add kicks in and that song will come on and then yeah. i just get lost man <laughs> Totally. Well, hey, man, I want to also give you an opportunity to give any shout outs to workers, teammates, whatever, uh, real quick. or uh, And then again, say thank you for jumping on the show. Yeah, dude. Well, first off, for you, you know, having me on, that, that was really cool. I'm really actually really excited to, to be a part of it. I love being a part of the MMA culture and all that. Um, Joel Thomas, definitely be one of my big shout outs. Yeah. Uh, camp there. Uh, Killian Estes, Elijah Ross, big fighters I love photographing. Um and doing things with them. Uh, I'm just happy to be a part of, you know, this MMA world as not a fighter, but uh, you know, it's such an accepted culture where everybody, I mean, even after fights, it's crazy. These guys are hugging each other and complimenting each other on technique after getting kicked in the face. And, and it's crazy. And they've, and they've kind of accepted me as, as one of the, I was one of the guys and uh, sure. another MMA photographer, Katie Hartwig, who is insane. And uh, yeah. She's I'm, a big, I'm a big fan of her work as well. So yeah. Absolutely. Well, uh, Blake, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to jump on the show real quick. All right, brother. All right, bye. Bye. Thank you for watching the show today. Really appreciate it. Please subscribe to our channel, follow, like us on social media, and check out our website. Appreciate all the support. Tyrant.